We have uh, Tony Murphy with us, who is the co-winner of the Rock Indie category uh, this year. Uh, welcome, Tony. Thanks very much, Alan. Nice to be here. Tell us a bit, uh, a bit about uh, your songwriting process. I notice you have uh, two co-writers um, on the track of Viking Smile. That's right. Um, fantastic people. Jennifer Matthews is my producer. She works closely with her husband, Paul Harris, and Paul Harris is the genius on all the instruments. Um, Jennifer is a whiz on uh, things like the organ, which uh, feature uh, heavily on the a Viking Smile. Um, and uh, I write the lyrics. Uh, I turn up at the studio, uh, I get two days to record with them. And um, um, uh, I have a melody. Uh, they lay down the, uh, the uh, bass and um, drums. Um, and um, we work out the uh, tempo and, um, and the other instruments that we'll need uh, going ahead on, on day two. Uh, when we do the mix, we do four, four takes and uh, the mix is done uh, from, that, from that take, yeah. Right. You seem, to, uh, you seem to like loud music, Tony. What's, uh, what's uh, that? Oh, oh, it varies, actually. <laughs> um, just whatever grabs me, you know. Um, I, I write a... I, I usually come up with a, a chorus line or um, a verse um, and uh, a melody, and then it takes me... It, couldn't, it can take me months to, to actually write the song, you know. Um, lots of edits... Um, and then uh, I, I don't want to waste time when I get into the studio, so I, I'm pretty meticulous. And uh, uh, even even after day one, uh, I or after even after day two, they allow me to do some edits. Um, and uh, yeah, they're very good that way. So uh, yeah, it's, it's a slow process for me. It doesn't really happen, even though the the, the initial. Yeah, uh, inspiration. Um, I might pick it up from a, you know, just an ordinary phrase, you know, um, um, uh, and and then expand on on it from there. But it does take a lot of rhyming dictionaries, um, <laughs> a lot of listening to music. I do a lot of research. Uh, a couple of my songs about the whiskey a go go fire bombing. Um, I spent months researching that, getting all sorts of opinions. I uh, I came to my own conclusion about that, which doesn't actually, um, it might not please everybody, but um, uh, it is what it is from the research that I did uh, over a, a kind of like a 40 year span since the, uh, since the fire. Um, 15 people died in that. And I also did another song um, about Shirley Briffman, who was a famous or an infamous prostitute uh, madam in, uh, in King's Cross, um, uh, uh, working for the police basically, yeah. Um, and um, she was murdered for being a whistleblower on the ABC. So she was good material. I like those stories that I can, um, you know, that already exist, you yeah, know, yeah. and, and uh, um, you know, it's easier for me, uh, being a new writer, um, it's easier for me to, to t grab a story and turn it into a song that way, yeah. Right. Mm. And uh, any um, um, emotional, personal experience type uh, lyrics come out of you? Uh, well, the first song on, on the album, Blowing the Lid, is uh, Dance Land. And it um, uh, goes right back to, you know, first kiss, first dance, you know, Normie Rowe doing Shaken uh, all over on the stage in uh, Dance Land, Cool and Gatter with thousands of people would have uh, experienced it in, in those days, in the, in the, in the mid-60s, late-60s. Um, they would have uh, had their uh, first romance there, as I did. So um, Dance Land is about that first romance, and, yeah, I, and yeah. I think it would, um, um, I think it would uh, echo with a lot of people's memories uh, of, that, of that venue. So um, where are you hoping it all takes you, Tony? Are you, are you happy to be a, um, a lyricist and a melody writer and bring things into the studio for others to, to knock into shape? Or, or It's an expensive thing to do, um, and now I'm a pensioner, so uh, <laughs> I, I really need, uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe some income from what I've already done before I progress, but I'm still writing uh, songs, and I, I believe the best ones are, are yet to come. Right. Um, and, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, through Wax Lyrical, uh, run by the association, I can find some musos to turn those songs. Uh, in, uh, in, in t uh, turn those lyrics into music um, and uh, save myself the expense of going to the studio. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, 
So I can't stop. I, I've always been writing verse since, since I can remember as a kid. Um, I, I, I thought I was going to be writing poetry, but it, it, it never got that deep. It was never that great. Um, and it was only with the advent of YouTube that uh, I could see potential for me as a, as a, as a lyricist. And, yeah, yeah. and, and, uh, and um, I think I'm, I'm getting better and I'm getting into that abstract. Uh, those abstract ideas are coming more than just the historic history stories that I, that I turn to song, you know. So uh, I'm looking forward to that stage. Now, if you had one performer who you would like to sing your song, who would that be? Um, Joe Cocker. <laughs> <laughs> Is he still around? <laughs> um, you know, um, uh, people say that I sound like Tom Waits, but you know, I just can't. Uh, you know, I just can't see that. Um, uh, one performer who, um, yeah, Russell Morris. I mean, as, as an Aussie, I just love Russell and uh, yeah. um, uh, and Doug Parkinson too. Actually, yeah, uh, yeah. I love. I saw Doug at Twin, Twin Towns and Tweed Heads, and uh, it was a great night. And what a what a voice, you know. And I think that he could really uh, he could really do some of my songs fantastic. And I actually sent him Danceland because I've got a line in there about shaking, shaking, shaking like Normie Rowe, and I think they're yeah. mates. So I thought he might have taken that one on. <laughs> Haven't heard from him. Oh well, all the best with that. Thanks very much, Alan. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. That's okay. uh, Tony Murphy, the uh, winner or co-winner of the uh, Rock Indie category this year.